Hey guys, today I want to talk about how you can actually be your own laundry boss with very little money up front. If you guys haven't already done so before I start this video, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button below and give me some thumbs up after the video if you like it. This business is called the Wash Dry Fold Service. Many people call it different things. It could be uh, fluff and fold, wash and fold, drop off service. Um, there's different, a whole bunch of different names out there for it. But you can actually get into this service for pretty much next to nothing, just whatever it costs for supplies, if you do um, the steps properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and start talking about this. If you're not familiar of what a wash and fold service is, uh, if you ever stop by a laundromat, a uh, tinted laundromat, they're gonna have somebody there. And a customer will actually walk in with their dirty clothes and drop it off to them. And whatever they're charging, so like they charge, uh, we'll use an example as a dollar a pound. So if they charge a dollar a pound, they're gonna take my clothes, stick it on a scale, and whatever it weighs, so if it came up to 30 pounds, um, 30 times a dollar is gonna be 30 bucks. So I pay them the $30, they'll take my clothes, throw it in a washer, um, and wash my clothes, and then turn around, throw it in the dryer, wash it, and then they fold it up and wrap it up and stick it in a bag and call me up and say it's ready, and I come and pick it up. So that's how you make money off a of wash dry fold service. It's pretty much for people that um, don't have time to do laundry or they want to free up their time to do other things. So you're going to sit there and wash their clothes for them. So many different people charge different prices. You can go anywhere from like 80 cents a pound all the way up to like $1.75 a pound. So depending on where you're locating at, located at, um, you could charge different prices. The first thing you're going to do is go out and scout unattended laundromats. So that's what you're going to look for. Um, so you're going to find all the laundromats in your town. You're going to go up to them, see which one's unattended, and you're going to try to find the uh, business owner's information. If you want more information on this, I actually created a video, um, episode 8, on how to actually locate the business owner. So you can actually find that in my, my uh, YouTube channel and hopefully that'll help you find their information. Once you actually find their information, um, you're gonna either call them or email them, whichever information you got, and then you're gonna sell yourself to them. So you're gonna pretty much tell them why um, they need you and negotiate a good deal. So let me, sorry, I'm just kind of brushing over my notes real quick. Blah, 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 blah. So once you get them on the phone, you're gonna tell them that you're interested in opening a wash dry fold service in their laundromat. And they're gonna either be like yes or no, or you're gonna pique their interest. They're gonna be like, okay, well, what are you looking to pay per square footage? Or they might throw a number out per square footage. Um, try to avoid this. This is where you're gonna negotiate a deal with them. You're looking for, if you're looking at the square footage, you're looking at least 65 square foot. It's more than enough. It's not too too much and it's not too low. It's enough to like, um, set up your products enough to store clean clothes and dirty clothes and stuff like that when you're actually washing them But when you're talking to them, you're going to Negotiate the space for cleaning. So you're gonna say hey look I, I was actually interested in um, negotiating um, Space so pretty much a, a space in your laundromat to run my business in exchange for cleaning your your laundromat for you not only are you going to get um, me to clean your laundromat every si single day for you you don't have to worry about paying an employee an hourly rate or hire a contractor to come and clean and it's going to free up your time so you don't have to come and clean either um i'm going to help increase your sales because while i'm at your laundromat i'm going to spend money uh, when someone drops me off clothes i'm going to spend that money on your washers and dryers so you're helping increase the owner's uh, profits which is a plus for them uh, customer service, you're going to help with customer service. So if someone's having issues with machines, you're going to be there um, to help them out. It, it'll be something common, you know. Oh, I got an issue with the, the quarter getting stuck in the machine or the machine's not working properly. So you're there to help them out so that the business owner doesn't have to always be on the phone or trying to figure out if the customer is ripping them off or anything like that. So you're there to, as, as a mediator to help uh, the owner with the business. 50% uh, split on marketing. Be like, hey, look, I'm gonna, um, whatever your marketing materials are, I'm willing to pay 50% as long as you put the wash and fold service in there. So like for flyers or newspapers um, to market the business, he'll pay half, you pay the other half, and they'll help drive more customers to that location. So the benefits that the owner is gonna get 
by you stepping in and running your wash dry fold service is he's gonna get a sales increase he's gonna uh, customer service better customer service for the laundromat cleaning free cleaning for him and 50 percent um marketing material is going to be paid for so these actually are great benefits for the laundromat owner if you came to my laundromat and offer that um i'd be more than willing to give you my wash and fold service and let you run it but uh, you better show up and actually do the job so don't expect to uh the owner offer you the spot you show up and you just sit there and you're like twiddling your thumbs and being like oh hey no one's really coming in you know i'm gonna sit here and, and hopefully someone will come and drop off some clothes and you might have one or two and then next thing you know, you're like, oh, this isn't what I thought it was gonna be, and just leave. You gotta understand, when you take over a business, um, it takes time. It, it's gonna take a lot of effort. You have to go out and you have to market. Go pass out flyers, go talk to businesses. That's where you're gonna make money as businesses. You can lock in contracts with businesses. So you have to go out and market your business. Don't just expect, I got this space for, for free, I got into this business, not making any money. No, no one's dropping any clothes off, but you're not willing to invest in yourself and go out and market it too. So you can't just expect the newspaper and the flyers to do it. You have to go out and talk to people. So i sorry, I just want to kind of throw that out there. I, I, I ran through a lot of wash and fold people where they, I, I gave them the wash and fold business for free for them to clean up my laundromat. And I even offered the 50% mark, uh, pay for the marketing. And all they did was just sit there and after a month, they're like, I'm not making money and they don't want to be there anymore. So there is opportunities out there. There's many laundromat owners that are more than willing to give you the wash and fold business if they don't want nothing to do with it. Um, there are stuff that you're going to need to run the wash and fold business. So soap, fabric softener, dryer sheets, uh, bags for your clothes. So so when you, you got clean clothes and you got it all folded, you're going to put it in a bag and tie it up. Um, a receipt book, uh, scale the way clothing. A lot of this is not going to cost anything. Uh, scale you can probably find on Craigslist for anywhere from twenty-five to fifty bucks. Um, soap, fabric softener. You can go to Dollar Tree and pick it up for like three dollars. Dryer sheets about a dollar. Uh, trash bags to get you started, like clear trash bags, not black ones, but clear ones so they can see their clothes. A couple bucks. A receipt book you might anywhere between a couple bucks to five dollars. So I mean, less than fifty dollars. It'll get you up and running. And um, when the person comes and drops off their clothes and that they pay you up front, you can turn around and take that money and go buy the products, come back, and then wash your clothes. So you can step into this with no money down. And when the customer drops off clothes, um, you just use that money to go buy the products. And that gets you going. So, I mean, this is huge. Very, very little money to almost free if you, if you play the game properly. So this is how you actually get into the... Uh, wash and fold uh, business and be your own laundry boss for very little money and next to nothing. If you if you follow these steps and you're persistent and and eager to actually start your own business, you can step in step into the laundromat world pretty much. And then after you're running your wash and fold for a while and it, it's profitable, you can stay or or you can turn around and buy your own laundromat because after you start building your experience, now you get experience in the laundromat world. You can open up your own laundromat and get get um credits and, and loans and stuff like that to go purchase your own laundromat. Or um, the person running the laundromat might actually sell you their laundromat. So it all depends on, on um, how things work out for you. Other than that, if you guys haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, uh, give me some thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.